हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल बाय माई डैट प्राची थैंक यू सो मच ऑल ऑफ यू व्यूवर्स फॉर पॉजिटिव रिस्पॉन्स टिल डेट वी हैव सीन लिस्ट ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स फॉर डिफरेंट डिपार्टमेंट्स एंड ऑल्सो स्टडी डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स टूडे वी विल लर्न प्रिवेंटिव मेंटेनेंस एंड इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियरिंग आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हाउ शुड बी द आइडियल प्रिवेंटिव मेंटेनेंस ऑफ इक्विपमेंट आई विल एक्सप्लेन एवरी स्टेप विथ इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस इन पी एम सो वाई शुड डू पी एम बिफोर स्टार्टिंग सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल सो दैट यू विल गेट एवरी अपडेट वॉट एवर अपलोड सो वाई शुड डू पी एम बेसिकली रेगुलर प्रिवेंटिव मेंटेनेंस एनहांसेस द परफॉर्मन्स ऑफ मेडिकल इक्विपमेंट्स ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेस द ड्यूरेबिलिटी ऑफ मशीन और वी कैन से इंक्रीजेस लाइफ ऑफ इक्विपमेंट्स वन मेजर बेनिफिट ऑफ डूइंग पी एम इज इट डिक्रीजेज द ब्रेक डाउन कॉल्स एज वी मेंटेन द इक्विपमेंट्स बिफोर ब्रेक डाउन सो इन दिस वे पी एम पर्सिस इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियरिंग जनरली ऑल मेडिकल इक्विपमेंट्स रिक्वायर्ड एटलीस्ट टू पी एम्स इन अ इयर सम क्रिटिकल इक्विपमेंट्स में रिक्वायर फोर इन अ इयर प्रिवेंटिव मेंटेनेंस शुड बी डन इन आइडियल वे और इन आइडियल स्टेप्स वन बाय वन प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर दो स्टेप्स एंड हाउ टू डू देम सो वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप इज फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन वेन यू गो इन फ्रंट ऑफ एनी मेडिकल इक्विपमेंट वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग टू डू इज टू ऑब्जर्व द इक्विपमेंट फिजिकली विदाउट स्विचिंग ऑन इन दिस स्टेप यू विल नोटिस इफ एनी फिजिकल डैमेज इज डन और एनी थिंग इज मिसिंग और हाउ इट इज केप्ट एट इट्स प्लेस बायोमेडिकल इंजीनियर शुड ऑलवेज गाइड टू नर्सिंग इन चार्ज अबाउट हाउ टू कीप इक्विपमेंट्स प्रॉपरली नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज whether all accessories of that equipments are on place or are they kept in proper manner note down if any accessory is missing or damaged if accessories are not kept properly or uh, are dirty should guide to nursing staff about it after that you should check condition of power plug and power cable before plug in you must check continuity of power plug and cable and then the continuity of fuses this step possess is very much importance in pm procedure because if any of the accessory is faulty and if you plug in the equipment without check it can harm the equipment due to short circuit or any other damage can happen due to power fluctuation then your next step is to switching on the machine or equipment once machine switched on one must check the display of equipment see if the screen of equipment is working properly moving ahead with these pm steps you should tick on the checklist on pm of pm after that check the functionality of equipment many equipments has their own checklist programmed in machine only run that checklist test if it is not there run the equipment normally if it's working properly check if all leds and all buttons are working properly up to this step we have done testing of functionality of machine now switch off the machine remove all power connections next thing is to open the equipment to open the equipment you must have done training on that particular equipment because many equipments have hidden locks your untrained trial of opening the equipment may damage the locks or cover of the machine open all the screws one by one and keep them aside at safe place so that they will not misplace before separating the cover of machine ensure if ground grounding cable is removed do not rush to open the cover which can damage the display also so do it carefully once the cover is separated do not touch internal circuitry with bare hand to prevent the circuitry from electrostatic currents one should use anti static esd wrist strap elastic band with clip to a grounded source next look for the fan uh, inside of the machine if it's dusty or anything is stuck on it if fan doesn't work properly ventilation of electronic circuit assembly will not happen which will lead heating of inner assembly of machine it again affect the performance of equipment use the blower if dust is seen on the inner parts if e equipment has its internal battery check the battery voltage and also see if physical condition of batteries is good check all the internal electronic pneumatic and mechanical parts of machine for their physical condition any breakage of clinching of wires is there or not also do the oiling of moving parts possible or if are allowed to oil them after examination all the things inside the machine reconnect all the remote connections before closing the cover of machine 
then refit properly all the screws and nuts on their place after closing do the functional testing of machine make a report of maintenance whatever you have done in report you must include your key observations about equipment and also do not forget to note any suggestions to user if needed after writing all the things on report take a sign of in, uh, sister in charge or any other accountable person of that department now preventive maintenance procedure is run you must store this report in your record file this all procedure really saves breakdown time and reduces the number of breakdown calls also pm procedure enhances the functionality of equipment also making the report of preventive maintenance serves you the best information when you need the history of that equipment so friends i hope this guidance would be really helpful to you next time we will learn something new uh, till that keep learning do your best bye bye